We've come over this morning to cut some logs to make some posts out of for a bloke. And the bloody cows have got into the hay paddock. I don't know how, maybe they've knocked a gate down, I'm not sure what's going on. So we're going to have to have a bit of a roundup, and we've only got the tractor and the ute, so I don't know. I just hope they haven't got stuck into the silage bales and ripped them open and eaten plastic or whatever, but it's a real pain in the bum. to get the idea. The tractor's not the ideal thing to round up cows on but that's what we got today. starting to go out the gate. Buggers, some up here going back a bit but oh, they're gonna play. Have a bit of a wrestle they reckon. These two, three. Oh, what's going on? Have a bit of a bit of a tussle. Third one wants to get in the act but What's happened? Oh, they've, they've stopped. Uh, now these two are going to have a bit of a game. Well, they're all out. They're heading over to the water now. I'm 
past me all high machinery. Uh, two here have decided that it'd be more fun to stay here and have a wrestle. They're off. Now I'm going to have to go and have a look what damage they've done to the silage. Bloody buggers. They just love to get into things they shouldn't. Well, they've wrecked this bale. But it's a pretty old bale anyway, it's from last year. and oh, I still didn't want them to wreck it, but... Oh, well, I suppose we'll make mulch out of it or something. Luckily, they only got into a couple of bales and they are only old ones. But here's the problem here. This old gateway, they've obviously undone it on me. The buggers, anyway, I'll we'll fix it all up and that'll solve that problem, I hope. This stuff here, this bush, it's called lantana. <clears throat> and uh, in the early days of Australia they brought it out from England it was an ornamental bush over there in the cold weather but come out here and it's gone crazy I'd like to go back and have a yarn to the fella that uh, brought it out here because it's a bloody disaster see here's some more of it here it can grow pretty pretty rank and it's a Big job to get, keep it away all the time. Okay, these things I'm using are called wire strainers. And when you move the handle like that, they tighten up, tighten it up. Now, if I tighten it up too much, I'm going to bend this post. So I'll tighten it up to there. And then I can wrap the wire <coughs> around the end post, which I've driven in the ground. And um, I'll just get some pliers. Well, come on. So I'll put that like that. I'll wrap it around a couple of times to try and stop it slipping around up and down the post too much. This is only a temporary fix. I'm not expecting it to last forever. I'll make a proper or get a. I probably I've got some gates at home that are steel gates that might fit here so I'll, I'll try that <clears throat> that'll be a lot better wouldn't run into these problems okay so now we've put the rest of the wire around it <clears throat> okay Got not terribly tight, but it's pretty hard to get um, it really tight on a short run, but it'll be alright for this. Okay, now. This is the normal way you'd usually use these wire strainers, and you put the that clip through the wire, and then pull it, and that grabs it. End of the uh, wire like on your barb or usually it's barb around here again you put the I'm having a bit of trouble here put the wire in there and then pull it up and it clips it up tight then again just bend that out of the road so it's not fighting with you and again we put this in the chain of the wire strainers and just work out walk our way along the chain and you can see it's quite quite uh, quite tight now if you over tighten it you can break the wire and then in an ideal situation this would be this bit of wire would be down here on this but anyway we'll work it out so I'll do a bend there for the point and then uh, this has got a bit of wire on the end of it um, and um, we get the pliers and cut 
cut the uh, bit of old wire off if I can get in there. Hmm, a bit difficult. Oh bugger, I'll cut the carp barbed wire off, I'll fix it. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to bend the barb. That's where we're going to make the join. It's not in an ideal position, but it'll do. It'd be a lot better if it was up the other side of the grip on the um, grip on the uh, wire strainers, but I guess it in the perfect world. Okay, that'll do to hold it till I take the strainers off, and then I'll uh, put the, use the pliers to hold the wire, and I can bend it round better. Okay, now that's got it pretty right. They won't get in there, but we'll put a post in the middle and put some ties on it. It's been raining, it's easy. Um, if it hadn't been, it'd take a lot more effort than that. Okay. Okay, we're going to um, tie this up now. So, show you how we tie it up, or how the boss ties it up. Okay, so here's the finished job. Got four wires, post in the middle, driven into the ground, and tied to the other end. I think with a bit of luck that'll keep them out until I put a decent gate on there. This is some of the cows that were in the hay paddock. And here's our bull, or one of them. And his name's Shannon, and the reason we call him that is because that's the name of the people where he come from. He's only a young fella, I don't think he'd be, oh, he might be three years old. He's only a young fella. And um, they've got a stud up near Tully called Araloo and Stud. Anyway, he's, looks like he's keen to do his job, but I think he's done it to them all. I think most of them are having calves. Oh, this one's a bit late. Oh, and some more coming. These cattle are called Drought Master cattle. They're um, Australian breed of cattle, bred from. Um, now let me think about this: Brahmin, Shorthorns, and Red Devon. They're, they're bred from originally and they've developed into this breed now.